define a bill of materials. Use the Bills Materials screen to set up recipes for a master item. It is possible to set up a multi-level Bills Materials where the component item is itself a master item. When setting up a Bills of Materials, you can specify the fixed and variable costs. Note that master items are assembled using the Assembly screen. Let's have a look at creating a Bills of Materials within Inventory Control. For this example, we will use the Hunt's 2500 series cabinet as the master item. This master item is comprised of the following components. The build quantity is two, meaning that these items are built in multiples of two. The fixed cost is displayed here and the variable cost here. Let's see how to set up this build's materials. From inventory control, items and price lists, we begin by selecting bills of materials and entering a master item number. We can then specify the appropriate bills of materials bomb number. Click the go button and you can enter details about the bills of materials such as the description, enter the fixed cost and variable cost, specify the build quantity and the unit of measure. If applicable, Enter values for the start and or end date. In the component items section, we will identify the component items that will comprise the bomb. Click add to save the item. Notice on the left, you can see the master item and the component items that comprise the bills of materials. This is how you define a bills of materials within inventory control. Congratulations, you now understand Bills and Materials in Sage 300.